Hello and welcome to the session on logarithms. This is what to you by Handa Ka Funda. Let us look at the graph of log x. Please note that x has to be positive for its log to exist. And that is the reason, as you can see here, the graph exists only on the right hand side of the y axis. If x is greater than 1, then log of 1. Anything greater than 1 is going to be positive. If x is less than 1, then it is going to be negative. And log of 1, as we know, is 0. What will be the inverse of this function? Inverse of this function is going to be 10 to the power of x. It's an exponential function. In this case, as you can see, initially the rise might be slow, but later the rise is very high. As when x moves from 1 to 2, it moves from 10 to 100. When it moves from 2 to 3, it moves from 100 to 1000. 10 raised to any power, it can never be negative and that is the reason why it is always always above the x-axis. Let us look at a few formulas related to the log. Log of a into b is given by log of a plus log of b. Log of a by b is given by log of a minus log of b. Suppose I have log of a to the base b, then this can be translated to log of a to any arbitrary base x divided by log of b to the same arbitrary base x. But please note, x here needs to be a positive number. If I am given log of a to the power of b, then that translates to b log a. If I have to find out log of b at root of a, then that, translate, then that translates to 1 by b log a. Suppose I am given a is b to the power of c. Then if I take log on both sides, this would reduce to log of a to the base b is c. Suppose you are given this value originally and you want to get it in a power raised format and remove the log. That would mean a or whatever is the value here that would persist will be equal to the base raised to the power which is the answer or a is b to the power of c. Default a few default cases and notations which are used. As you must have seen many a times the base is not mentioned. If I am given directly log of x then I would consider the base as 10. If I am given ln x then I would consider this is the natural log. I would consider the base as e. That wraps up the session on logarithms. Please stay tuned at Handaka Funda to watch other videos on other chapters. Thank you.